So on the left column here, we want to avoid these rancid fats, which create more inflammation than sugar and more inflammation than smoking cigarettes. Here's the list here. We want to avoid canola oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, grapeseed oil, rice bran oil, trans fats, and peanut oil. These fats right here, if you're eating any of these, it's creating inflammation in your body and it's gonna prevent your body from healing. Do an audit, look at the ingredients, ask the server at your restaurant, go at the grocery store and look at the ingredients. Don't fall for the actual label. So instead, we wanna have healthier, stable fats that support the cells and the cell membrane that help you burn fat, help you reduce inflammation, and help your cells produce energy so you feel good. Here's the list. Avocado oil and olive oil are terrific. Grass-fed butter and grass-fed ghee, terrific. Duck fat and even lard. These are stable fats that actually could reduce inflammation in your body. I have a whole list in my Keto Camp Blueprint, so if you want an entire aisle-by-aisle -aisle grocery shopping list of what foods to get versus the inflammatory foods, Go to ketocampblueprint.com and download that free guide today.